All right, so now we're gonna go through your movement screen. Uh, this is the vital aspect to you setting up your program. So we're gonna go through some big body movements here to see how you move and see how we can correct your imbalances and strength and weaknesses. So first one, we're gonna have Mike uh, assume the plank position. So he's gonna go start on the floor. You wanna make sure that the heel of the hand is underneath the shoulders. You wanna have the feet together, toes planted into the floor. So I just wanna make sure that he's gonna assume the plank He's gonna go up to his hands in the full planker. Good, so that's the first step. He's out of his forearms. Wanna make sure that he has a nice flat back. All right, Mike, now let's have you raise up to the top of that push-up plank. All right, so he's there. So some things that I'm looking for is if his hips were bowing to the floor, all right? If his butt was way high in the air, if he was shaking and controllably because his core can't handle it, all right? If his shoulders are sliding up to his ears, Right, there's a lot of things going on here, so I want you to assume a good, perfect push-up or a plank. So next, we're going to go into the push-up. So he's going to descend slowly to the floor, by pulling himself down, and then he's going to drive himself back up, making sure when he does this not to leave his stomach on the floor. So show me one where his weak core push-up. So he's got the bow. I'll show me one where his chest is weak, and he's got his butt way high in the air. There you go. So that's the next step, which is assuming the push-up. So the next uh, aspect here is we're going to assess shoulder mobility. So we want to make sure that we take a dollar out. You can use a broomstick, whatever, something that is straight. Um, you want to make sure it's long enough that you can assume a position where it's slightly wider than shoulder width, arms are straight. He's got a full grip on the, on the bar. Want to make sure he locks the abs in that vertical plank. And he's going to take his bar all the way overhead, trying to maintain his core tightness. You can see he's not having any bowing, he's not scrunching his neck, his hips aren't sliding around. We're just strictly assessing his shoulder mobility, how well that shoulder can roll around in the joint. Make sure you get both side angles on this for us. So we need a side angle and the front. Make sure those arms stay straight. He's staying nice and tight in his core. That's your shoulder mobility. From here, we're going to go into your squat test, right? Back squat. So we want to make sure it's on the high part of the back. Not on the neck, it's kind of on the traps. You want to make sure that you have the hands pulled in to the point where you can start to load the lats from here. Keep the rib cage tight. We're going to have to go down to a squat. I need to see both views from the front and the back. So he's going to descend by pushing his hips back and opening up the floor. Vertical chest, nice relaxed neck. He's going to come up and he'll turn, face the other way, he'll do it again. and he'll come back up. If you notice you're having issues with keeping your heels planted on the floor, we're gonna have an assist for you. So you can use two blocks, you can use books, if you're at the gym, you can use two plates. You wanna put your heel elevated, so your toes are still on the floor, but your heel is on there, and you're gonna descend, keep everything tight. You're gonna notice you're gonna have a little more extra range of motion, you'll come on up. We want you to go down as low as you can without losing that back brace. So we'll have him turn, Slide it over, and he'll get his squat here, setting the core, driving the hips to the floor, and he's coming up. Good. That's your, your back squat test. Now we're going to take you real quick for you guys to do a little bit weightlifting as well as a lot of our functional movements. We're going to go into a front squat test. It's the same version as the back squat, or you're just holding it into the front rack. So we're going to have your palms facing out. You can see he's not really shouldering it up. He's actually driving his lats down and through the bar. Uh, he's going to keep his chest high. He's not going to let his hips slide out in front of him. He'll go down. And he'll come back up. Good. And he'll turn the other way so you can see. Mike, show me something what would happen if there was a bad rack with, with the bar. What would he be doing? His elbow would fall behind. He'd fall forward. It'd be a collapse, right? That looks like a very difficult position because he's reverse curling that. Now, what the how's it fix? Rotate the elbows through the bar. Good. There's your front squat test. All right. Um, so the next one we're going to be going with is going to be your deadlift or your hinge platform. So we're going to have the bar. We want to have three points of contact. So if he turns around here, we're going to do both hands swapping. So it doesn't really matter where you start. One hand is behind the cervical spine, right behind the neck, making contact in the middle of the uh, shoulder blades. Last one, he's got his knuckles on his lower back. We have too much of a bow, he's gonna lose the point of contact. We have too much of a round, he's gonna come off the butt. 
So let's have you turn now and face the side. So you can see he's nice and tight, making sure he's drawing in his core. So we want to have soft knees, and all he's going to do here is hinge his hips. So we should see his hips track back this way. His knees should not come vertical. All right, we want to try and see how far he can go down without losing this and this. He'll drive back up by squeezing his glutes, standing up. We'll get a couple. You only got to show us the side view of that. We're then going to go into, and then he would switch up his hands and make sure that we see that. We're then going to go into uh, a single leg variation of that, so it's the same setup. And now he's going to take it from a single leg, and he's going to drive on down, trying to find the stability on that leg. And good, and we'll come back up. We'll get one more from the side so we can see this. This one we're going to want to see both the front and the side view. You can see he's got his knee anchored, glute, flat back, flat chest. He's not straight his neck. That is your single leg hinge variation. So all those are part of your movement screen. We need to see all the videos. You can quickly do them and put them together in your portfolio and upload them uh, to your files so you can collaborate with us. Thanks a lot. It's Mike Dewar, Michael Bow. Yeah. Take care.